Welcome back, everyone. As temperatures start to plunge tonight, we are expecting some patchy frost to develop as we make our way into the early morning hours. But then throughout the day, south winds will return, the sunshine will return, and so temperatures will be a little bit warmer for your Friday. We're going to stay with the warm conditions through the weekend. However, we do have the possibility of showers and a few thunderstorms that could be strong. We are going to take a look at that in just a little bit. But by next week, those temperatures will turn cool again, but at least we'll see a little bit drier conditions return as we head back to work. Temperatures today only climbed up to around 62 degrees in Hattiesburg. The high in Laurel was also 62, 61 degrees in Meridian, and in Macomb it was 63 degrees. So temperatures just a tad warmer than they were yesterday. However, it was still a little bit below normal. In fact, about uh, 5 to 10 degrees below normal. So our temperatures, again, were just a few degrees warmer uh, than it was on Wednesday. So 5 degrees warmer in Laurel right now, 2 in Hattiesburg, and the winds continue to come from the north. And that's what's kept us with that unseasonably cool weather. But as we head into tomorrow, uh, the winds will start to shift and they will be coming from the south. And that will bring the warm air back and a little bit of moisture as well. Our dew points have been in the 20s and 30s, and that's an indication of very dry air that's in place. And that's because of the north winds. High pressure is really just right on top of us. And so the winds have been a little bit calmer this evening. But that high will continue to shift off to the east near Florida. And what that's going to do is it's going to help to bring those south winds into the region. So the return flow uh, behind this high will be coming from the south. So we are expecting warmer conditions and a little bit more moisture as well. But we're going to see enough sunshine where it will help to warm us up back into the 70s across the region. We do have the potential of severe weather as we head into the weekend. So you definitely want to be weather alert for this weekend. Just a marginal risk for strong to severe thunderstorms. The main uh, threats being hail and also damaging winds. But we can't uh, rule out or tornado or so. But for the most part, I think the main threats will be the winds and also the hail. But again, it's just a marginal risk, but just stay weather alert because those thunderstorms can change very quickly. Lows tonight will be dropping down into the 30s, looking at 34 in Hattiesburg, 35 in Sanford, right at 32 degrees in Ellisville. Winds will be light coming from the west southwest at around 5 to 10 miles per hour, but mostly clear conditions and patchy uh, frost will develop in the overnight hours. But with the sunshine and south winds returning tomorrow, we're going to be warmer with a high around 70 degrees, which is just about normal for this time of year. 69 for Sanford, Prentice around 70 degrees, Columbia around 71 degrees, mostly sunny and then partly cloudy skies by the afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Temperatures a little bit warmer for your Saturday with a high around 73 degrees, cloudy with a few thunderstorms and then more showers in the morning. But temperatures will be dropping as we head into early next week. 69 for your Sunday and then down to around 60 degrees. So it's going to be chilly for your Monday, but at least we'll see plenty of sunshine and then gradually warm warming up toward the end of next week. Overnight lows, though, will be quite cold back into the 30s, 63 on Tuesday, and then plenty of sunshine as high pressure builds in again Wednesday and Thursday, around 64 on Wednesday, and nearly 70 degrees on Thursday. So things will start mm. to improve, but uh, we're just looking at strong thunderstorms this weekend and some heavy rain with that as well. Don't love the timing of it falling on a weekend, yeah. but it is what it is, and at least a lot of people can hopefully stay home during that. Yes. Said it yesterday, Red Box Weekend. <laughs> Same. Thanks, Kim.